Today I want to talk about one of my favorite producers, Icy Tword, and how he influenced an entire generation of UK rappers. For those who are not familiar with Tword, let me give you a quick introduction. Icy Tort was born and raised in Chicago and he started making music at the age of 13. He was inspired to start a rapping career after listening to Tyler's album Bastard. His first bodies of work consisted of his own beats on which he would remix the vocals from popular rap songs like on Dior Jones for example. Since 2014 his instrumentals have hard hitting drums mixed with smooth and ethereal melodies and can be put in the cloud rap or alternative rap subgenres as his music sounds dreamy and futuristic. In my opinion, Icy Trout has one of the most recognizable beat styles in the industry as his sound is very unique and highly polished. But Trout's legacy would only become bigger as he decided to rap on his own instrumentals. His earliest rapping examples on streaming platforms can be traced all the way back to 2015 like on the song Lil Shorty 2. Icy Trout has been releasing producer tapes as well as rap projects consistently ever since. During that time, Trout also produced some music for Playboy Cardi like the Talk remix or the song Not Coming. This definitely solidified his position as a respected producer in the underground and probably opened many doors for Icy Twat in the industry. Twat also was an early member of the trap collective Divine Council, which consisted of Cyrex, Silk Money, Lord Linko and Icy Twat. Their debut EP Council World, which is executively produced by Icy Twat, is a real classic for the cloud rap subgenre and the group helped to popularize that signature dreamy and ethereal sound by Twat. I especially enjoy the song P. Sherman and it is a real pity that we will never witness a Divine Council group dynamic again as Icy Trout and Lord Linko left the collective. But so much for the Divine Council story, now let's focus on Icy Trout again. For the last couple of years, his sound has shifted from mellow and dreamy beats to dark and dystopian instrumentals. I personally enjoy this new experimental style because an artist needs to evolve his sound constantly to stay modern. My personal highlights of his recent discography include the project City World and the songs Black Card and Eyes On Me. At this point Icy Trout can be classified as an underground legend, therefore it makes sense that he influenced a lot of rappers like the modern UK wave ever be talking about now. Icy Twat's signature sound has lived on in the United Kingdom as many artists from the alternative and mellow rap wave uses instrumentals or type beats. So in this segment I will show you some examples for Icy Twat's influence. Let's start with DXVL. He is a rapper and producer from South London that can be assigned to the cloud, jazz and mellow rap subgenres. He went viral a couple of years ago with his song Garms which features an Icy Twat type production. DXVL usually uses these euphoric, dreamy instrumentals that Tread popularized in the mid 2010s, which matches flow and cadence really well. You can find similar songs on DXVL's Winter Collection series, for example, Cloudy Ish and 808. Now, let's talk about Arten. He is a rapper and producer from London as well as a friend of DXVL. He generated some buzz in the rap industry with his song Alone in 2020, which features a smooth and ethereal instrumental combined with a beautiful vocal sample. Again, you can clearly recognize Icy Trout's influence from his instrumentals which go well with his lyrics that encapsulate the London culture and lifestyle, especially on his 2020 album Ghost. Next, Quest E. He is a rapper from Canterbury with Ghanaian roots. In his music, which stretches from drill to UK garage or mellow rap, you can recognize the impact from Icy Trout, for example on the song Espionage. The same goes for another UK artist who goes by the name of C Milano. You can witness the Icy Twat inspiration especially on the song Winter, which features the classic dreamy and laid back instrumental. And the track Finchley has a twat type beat that is mixed with Jersey Drill, which works surprisingly well together. Now, there are many more artists from these subgenres of course, but I believe that these four examples will suffice for this video and I will let you find out the others on your own. Conclusion, Icy Twat clearly is a big inspiration to UK rappers from the cloud rap and mellow rap subgenres thanks to his classic dreamy and ethereal type instrumentals. A lot of UK artists chose these laid back beats and modernized them with their own touch. If you want to listen to chill, mellow rap, the artists I talked about today are your go-to's for that. 
With that being said, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next upload, leave a like and comment which artist I should cover next. Cheers!